Hello, everyone. I'm Sean. Soon. We are the Courageous Frights, back once again for your movie and entertainment news. Yes. Okay, so this week, most of the news is Star Wars stuff, because yes. of <laughs> Star Wars Celebration. So we're going to find out what was celebrated. And I think there was stuff that even wasn't Star Wars that was celebrating. Yes. <laughs> we're just celebrating I, everything. I'm just celebrating everything. I guess we could start with that. Uh, Indiana Jones 5 had like a new picture. It was like, yeah. okay, cool. It was like an image of Indiana Jones in a dark like catwalk corridor thing. It was like, all right, cool. Great. That seems to be very exciting. <laughs> yes, very, very exciting. And then we got a trailer for Willow. Yes, that's the show I've been waiting for. It's Willow. Willow, the mostly forgotten Hobbit knockoff movie from the 1980s. Was that like when Willow came out? Was it like really, was it really popular? I can't even remember. I don't know if it was ever really popular. Like I think it was, people knew about it, but that was about it. It's got people Val weren't, like, going. Oh yeah, and people weren't going out to like out of their way to find Willow in the theaters or something. It's like, let me go I, watch Willow. Yeah, I'm not sure how successful it was. I just know it's got Val Kilmer and it's got um, Warwick Davis as the main guy. Oh, okay. So and I, I think both are back. They did say something about Val Kilmer. So Val Kilmer apparently is having a resurgence in his career. Yeah, that's surprising. That's surprising. Because <laughs> so, he was he was in Top Gun Maverick too for like one scene. Oh, was he? Yeah. So he actually showed up for like a little bit. Yep. Yeah, he was in it for a bit. He was the Iceman. Yeah, Iceman was back. He he sits in a chair. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So yeah, so first thing up on Lucas film that is Star Wars on the celebration we're going to talk about them all the many 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 movies that are coming out for star wars um there were no announcements at all <laughs> uh they did talk about taika waititi's film taika waititi a star wars story great <laughs> untitled star wars story <laughs> untitled star wars film and let me pull up the uh the article about that there was an interview with kathleen kennedy so you know it's going to be good oh great so total film interviewed kathleen kennedy and mm -hmm. they said star wars celebration has had has led to some very exciting news but i would say there was a curious lack of talk about the movies there were reports that the next movie will now be taika waititi's star wars film is that correct kathleen responds that's correct is that aiming for 2023? She says, yeah, well, not 2023, but late 2023. Not 2023, but late 2023. Exactly. So they say the 20 December. 20XX. Yeah, 20XX. <laughs> they said the, the December 2023 release date. And then she says, we haven't locked anything in. And that was it. That was, that was the announcement about star wars movies that makes me very excited to watch star wars movies. <laughs> yeah it's not coming out in 2023 but it is coming out in 2023 yes but there's almost no way it's actually coming out in 2023 because taika waititi would have to have already started it i think for it to come out in 2023 yeah that's true because it's like almost mid it's mid 2022 yeah. right now yeah, right and he's still working on stuff like poster or whatever for Thor, which hasn't comes out in a few weeks. And then he has another movie, I think, in the works after Thor. Akira. So, no. <laughs> yeah, I don't Akira. know. What, yeah, no, I was joking. But um, yeah, I don't know. So uh, yeah, it's probably not going to happen in 2023. Okay. Yeah, so that sounds. Ugh. I was like, whatever happened? Like, Kathleen Kennedy did such a good job as like a producer. <laughs> it was just like a disaster, disaster zone as like the actual head person. It's really weird. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's still really weird to me. It's very strange. She can't go through an interview without like brand damage. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So 
let's talk about some of the things that were announced. So first off, Cassian Andor got a trailer. Who? Who? <laughs> and or. Yeah. Cassian Andor what? Yeah, Andor. Andor Calrissian. Yes. Got a trailer. And um, I don't know. I'm not super excited about it. It didn't. It didn't bring the hype for me. Yeah, I guess that show would only work. Depends on how they do it, I guess. Because it's not show supposed to like lead up to Rogue One. Yeah, it's kind of the beginning of the rebellion because uh, Mon Mothma's in it too. Oh, okay. Which that's interesting because, like we said last time, she's like the person in charge of the rebellion. <laughs> yeah. And we know nothing about her. She's just there. Yeah, she's just there. She wears all white robes, and that's all. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, it, but Cassian's only in his own show's trailer for like ten seconds. So even the trailer was like, "Who? Yeah, who is this? <laughs> who is Cassian?" <laughs> So, and then another thing that's coming out is Young Jedi, which is an animated show for like preschool kids. Baby show. It's a baby show <laughs> about younglings. So we know how that one ends. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be great if they made this like baby show for like little tiny kids. And then the final episode they ever make is Anakin just murders them all. <laughs> <laughs> It's like great. It's like an R hard R rated final episode. Yes. Maybe Christensen just comes in and kills all the kids. And Christian's just coming back to everything, just him killing everything. Yeah. It's like great. Exactly. It's supposed to be set in the High Republic, though, so I don't think it's gonna happen. Oh, okay. So we just have Geode showing up. Yeah, well, Geode will come in. He'll, Geode will fall over and crush them all. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like that was the first massacre of... Of the younglings. Of the younglings. Massacring younglings. Yes. <laughs> um, <laughs> and then there's another animated series, Tales of the Jedi. So these are animated short things. Mm-hmm. So I guess it's kind of like that anime thing they did, except for this one's supposed to tell short stories about the Jedi from the prequels. So at least one's supposed to be about Qui-Gon because they confirmed that Liam Neeson is back in oh, the okay. voice cast. Okay. That's a, that's pretty cool. I, I do kind of like how they at least get in the original actors. Right. The one thing I'm really interested in is there was rumors that they're going to have Count Dooku in there too and i think it'd be really cool to see because they also said that liam neeson's son is voicing a young qui-gon and that's cool oh okay because like count dooku is his master yeah so, like that would be cool having like a kind of christopher lee and liam neeson team up storyline would be yeah that would actually be, that would actually be pretty cool so that's coming out in fall this year. So that was kind of a surprise. That was like Nintendo Direct drop. Yeah, that's, that's already it's like coming out next day. Yeah, I guess it's the next thing after Andor then. And then we got announcement of a new show. It's called Skeleton Crew, which is supposed to come out in 2023. This is the one that John Watts is directing. So this is the guy that did Spider-Man movies. Okay. And he left Fantastic Four for this. Oh jeez. So but the premise is that it's like young kids, like 10-year-old kids like lost in space or something. But they said it's not a children's show. Oh boy. Is this, so like, this like, like Space Goonies or something? Space Goonies, yeah, it's like Stranger <laughs> Things or something, Star Wars edition. Oh boy, that could be, that sounds like it could be bad. Yeah, I don't know what they're doing. They may be trying to do like a Goonies type thing or so like an Amblin entertainment type thing because that's what Stranger Things does. Yeah. So, where it's like feels like something Spielberg would have made. Yeah. So maybe they're doing that. But we got casting news that Jude Law has been cast, I guess, as one of the 10 year old kids on the <laughs> ship. <laughs> like, hello, children. <laughs> I am a fellow child. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, that would be the next step. So like 
Toby Maguire played Peter Parker in high school when he was like 30. Yes. The next step is Jude Law as a 10 year old. Yes, pretty much. So I don't know. I don't know who he's playing, but they told the, the premise was about 10 year olds. So we didn't hear anything else. So there we go. Oh, geez. That's my assumption is Jude Law that is playing be... a 10 year old kid. That sounds like it can be a disaster, like badly. It, it could be. And then uh, I don't think they, I don't know if they said anything about Ahsoka, but that's coming out in 2023. Uh, Mandalorian season three is officially release date of February, 2023. So we talked about it last week, but there was some confusion if it was going to be the end of 2022 or 2023. Mm -hmm. It's apparently February. And February, um, 2023. Yes. And, uh, the rumor I heard was that it had to do with uh, Bo-Katan and Din Djarin, like, fighting over the Darksaber or whatever. That would actually be kind of interesting. So, yeah, it could be interesting. Uh, there was some stuff with... There was a trailer, but it wasn't released to the public. And then there was the big announcement, the, the return of the king himself, Babu Frick. <laughs> okay, that's going to be a problem. Nice. <laughs> He's coming back to Mandalorian. He's going to be in Mandalorian season three. That's who I wanted. That's my favorite character. <laughs> Babu. <laughs> Babu Frick. The best part of uh, Rise of Skywalker. Yes. So yeah, get excited for that. Somehow Babu Frick returned. Yes. That's who I wanted to see. So Star Wars is saved. There may be no movies coming out. They may have no direction in what they're doing, but Babu Frick's here, so it's all okay. Yes. <laughs> I don't know if this is like a rumor or something, but I guess they're talking about the Acolyte and they're, I guess they're putting, putting some of the old extended universe into canon again. Okay. Namely, uh, I guess Darth Pelagus in particular, because I guess was Darth Pelagus had to have been the extended, like, extended universe and stuff like that mm -hmm. already, but we're actually might be actually seeing him in this, the Acolyte in particular. Yeah. We were told the tale of Darth Plagueis the Wise. Yes, but we might actually see Darth Plagueis and how wise he actually is. Yes. They should start the show with uh, Sidious's like, speech about Darth Plagueis. Yes. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> like Darth hear the tale of Darth Plagueis the Wise. It's like the dark side. They might do that, though, because uh, Obi-Wan has like the longest intro ever yeah i know it was just like a ju it was basically like a five minute long edit of all of the prequel films yeah it's like oh you don't even have to watch the prequels just watch obi-wan <laughs> like yeah the first beginning of obi-wan of obi-wan as twitter put it it was trending obi-wan kenobi was trending on twitter nice <laughs> <laughs> i guess uh the acolyte they were saying that, I guess it's saying this is set actually in the uh, Galaxy's High Republic era, so they're still going with the High Republic era. Yeah. But I guess it's saying it's roughly 100 years prior to the events of Phantom Menace. So right. it was 100 years prior to the events of Ph Phantom Menace. We had Darth Sidious, whatever, like in Phantom Menace, the Sith Lords or whatever. Yeah. yeah but so Pla it would kind of fall in that line. All right. Plagueis would be the... Plagueis might even be the apprentice. If it's a hundred years prior. Yeah, that could be it. Because it could be the rye, how Plagueis became the master that who would go on to teach Palpatine. Yeah, that could be. Uh, I wonder if that might be why it's called the Acolyte. I wonder if Plagueis is the Acolyte. Yeah, because this show in particular, I'm kind of interested in the show just because it's giving you a perspective from like almost the Sith side. We don't normally see mm -hmm. that. They always talk about the Jedi side all the time. Yeah. But in my point of view, the Jedi are evil, so... I want well, then to watch you are this lost! <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but this, is, I kind of want to see how this goes. But this is another show that's like... It can go very poorly. Uh, yeah. I can see it go really bad. Like, yeah, we'll really see. bad. But I, I am interested in it, though, because the High Republic is an interesting period because it's not something we've seen. Yeah, I do agree with that. So, and they did... Kathleen Kennedy, a while back, did say that their plan to move away from the Skywalker saga. 
Yeah. So, At least that's, a, I think that's a good idea. Yeah. To be <laughs> do other time periods and stuff. Yeah. Cause you always have, you still have the old Republic, which they need to piece together the extended universe again from that yeah. because they destroyed it all. Right. And the High Republic, uh, maybe. <laughs> yeah. Maybe on the High Republic. But uh, we'll it's interesting because it's a different time period. Yeah. It's a different time period. And it's, I mean, it could, it could be interesting, but the way they presented it, it's like, this sounds like it could be not that good. <laughs> but it's got Geode in it. Yeah, that's true. Geode is the main character of everything. <laughs> He's the key to everything. That was uh, my only Star Wars new buttons, by the way. <laughs> okay. And then uh, Dragon Ball Super Superhero got a teaser, a super short teaser, because it was like 30 seconds. Mm -hmm. And I guess it's like hinting at Gohan getting a new form. Which, of course, he does because the sh movie's about go on. Yes, and then he's actually training. He's actually doing his training now instead of slacking and is broadening his mind. <laughs> <laughs> Nerd. <laughs> yeah, he's actually training. Mission Impossible Seven got a trailer, so this is Dead Reckoning Part One. Oh, great! So they're doing a two-parter thing, but this will be the final Mission Impossible film. Man, it's, what is up with us all these things about like these final seasons and just double like double parts oh, and stuff like yeah, that? Yeah, like Stranger Things doing that too. Yeah, Stranger Things does that. We know that the Attack on Titan is like milking that franchise. <laughs> like, yeah. But it was like, what is it? Final season part one deluxe edition at this point. I don't <laughs> even know what's going on. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> pretty much. That way they could keep going with it. It'd be like, oh, this is part one. You think it concludes part two, but it could technically just keep going on forever. Yeah, that's true. Part like part two, it's like Kingdom Hearts, part two point eight. <laughs> yeah. It's like that's the naming convention. At this Be point. like Evangelion or whatever. It's like Mission yeah. Impossible 7.0 plus 1.0. Yeah, plus one. Yeah, plus one. We'll go through all the movies again. How many movies are there? Seven of them. Seven of them. Just point one. Rehash point them all. Two. Yes. So that was uh the trailer is pretty good. Some uh, decent action in there. A lot of Tom Cruise running. Yeah, That's that is expected. one thing. At least the one good thing about Mission Impossible, I would say Mission Impossible is probably one of the most consistent action movies, like action franchises. Especially the last few. Yeah. Um, I think four is where it really got good. And that's, yeah. I think, when they brought on this uh, Christopher McQuarrie guy or whatever who has been working with Tom Cruise ever since. So oh, that when they got the fourth movie was when they actually had like a new I think guy. yeah because okay. like I think four five six and now seven all have the same feel to them and those ones is where they yeah. really ramped up the action and the overall feel and maybe he's just trying to kill Tom Cruise but <laughs> yeah that's when <laughs> they start getting stunts. that's when they start getting a really crazy stunts and stuff yeah <laughs> so I think. Yeah, it looks pretty good, and then Haley Atwell's yeah. in it too. So they got. Yeah, I could I could joke about it, but yeah, Mission Impossible Possible is always one of those shows. It's kind of like, okay, I, that is one show that's our movie series. It's like, okay, I I could see that. I kind of want to see it because it's yeah. a Mission Impossible movie. Yeah, they're consistently good. And then uh, Stranger Things, of course, just dropped season four, part yes. one, of course. <laughs> yes. I'm almost done with it. You haven't started. I haven't even started yet. <laughs> I got one more episode. I heard episode four and seven are the ones that everybody says are really good. So, okay. And uh, there's, we know Stranger Things season five is supposed to be the end, but mm -hmm. they're talking about spinoff shows already. But um, apparently the spinoffs might be quite different from the, main timeline show so I'm oh, okay sure. yeah it's almost like you would have to kind of do that because was it like the first i guess this the the main series i guess has like specifically that certain area so maybe i wonder if the, the spinoff is going to be with like that one person that 11 went to see it was like in that one which season was that it was that season two? oh yeah eight. like those random people <laughs> it's like yeah random they people. just they still haven't shown up like season four goes back to the lab and everything and like those characters are nowhere 
they're just they're just non-existent anymore yeah it's like this rivalry between l and like one or something like there's a complete there's a different person like that one was eight i think oh yeah that was the girl Kali or whatever she's calling herself that was in yeah. season two and they do that one stupid episode where they go to like Chicago and it like derails the whole series. Yeah, I know. It's just like, it's just like so misplaced. It's, it's like, like, just cut this part, please. <laughs> so yeah, and I, I, I saw some tweets about that. And a lot of people in the comments section were saying they just skip that episode all the time when they do rewatches because it doesn't add anything. Yeah. <laughs> it makes it more confusing. Yeah, pretty much. And apparently the... The creators agree because she's not in this at all. Like yeah. the, her sh- character is mentioned and shown in one scene, but there's no like relevance to it. Which is kind of like just a passing reference or whatever. Yeah, pretty much. Okay. <laughs> and then the last thing I have is Winnie the Pooh is getting a new movie, but it might not be the type of movie you're expecting. This is Winnie the Pooh Blood and Honey. Oh, yeah. <laughs> So this sounds ridiculous. <laughs> this is a Winnie the Pooh horror film. The plot synopsis, I guess, is Christopher Robin like goes off to college and abandons all of his imaginary friends, so he's not feeding them anymore. So Pooh and Piglet go feral, <laughs> apparently kill and eat Eeyore. Great. And then they go on a rampage and like are murdering people all over the place. Like, I don't know. They must cross into the real world or something. Yeah. Because are there regular humans in the Hundred Acre Woods? I don't think so. They're all just animals. Yeah, that's weird. So yeah, that's how do they, because it's like a slasher film or something. So, yeah, that, that is kind of weird. It's like a, that is kind of a weird premise. I don't know how that's going to work. I mean, they did come into the real world in that Ewan McGregor Winnie the Pooh movie. Yeah, that's true. So maybe they'll do that. It's got to be like a take on that, except for they come through the into the real world and they just start killing people. Just killing people because they ate Eeyore. Yeah, they're like driven mad with bloodlust now. I know I saw the picture, like a screenshot of Winnie the Pooh, and he looks like a, he looks very creepy. <laughs> yeah, he looks super weird. It almost yeah, looks like, like a guy wearing a mask. Though. Yeah, so I was like, I thought it was just like some guy wearing a mask or like Piglet, because Piglet's not small on that. Because it shows oh. there's like another there's like another uh, screenshot from that, and it shows like Piglet with next to uh, Winnie. Yeah, and Piglet's like the same size, maybe even bigger than Winnie the Pooh. Piglet looks like a boar or something. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's very strange. I don't know what's yeah. going on with this. But the reason why this movie's getting made is that Winnie the Pooh recently went into public domain. So oh, okay. you can do anything you want with the character now. So Uh-oh. they just can't, <laughs> yeah, they just can't, um, they can't do stuff that like Disney added themselves. Oh, okay. So like he can't wear like the red t-shirt or whatever. He's wearing a red shirt, but it's like a different type of shirt or something it's really funny because disney just did this because they did that chip and dale movie and yeah. they have a whole bunch of properties in that movie they don't have the rights to so okay they had to come up with like alternate versions of them that's why like ugly sonic is in the movie and it's like the original version of sonic the hedgehog from the sonic movie before the internet screamed about it and they went back and redid it all <laughs> And uh, but they call him Ugly Sonic, so like I guess Ugly Sonic, <laughs> Ugly Sonic. Yeah, I guess Ugly Sonic is a Disney character now because they changed him just enough to be like to avoid like a lawsuit from Sega or whatever. <laughs> so it's really weird, but yeah, Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey is basically doing the same thing to Disney. Great, where they like altered the character just enough that it's it's not the same Winnie the Pooh that Disney created. It's like some random Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> yeah. So it's got to be based on... I suppose you could do whatever you want with the original character. Like if you... Yeah, especially if it's public domain now. Yeah, if you depict... If you wanted to do like a regular Winnie the Pooh movie and depict him exactly the way he looks in the books, then you... I guess you could 
without any difficulty. Actually, that would be kind of interesting if they had made the same animation style as like in the books. Yeah. But just be kind of like a Winnie the Pooh movie. Right. That would actually be kind of interesting. Well, they kind of did that with the Ewan McGregor one. Like, oh, did they do okay, Yeah, right. Winnie the Pooh and like all the other animals. Like, I, if I remember correctly, they all kind of look like they did in the book. Oh, okay. They didn't look like the cartoon. Like one. the yellow, like the bright very, yellow with the yeah, red bright yellow. And all that. Yeah, they, I don't think he looked like that. I Eating think he looked, honey all the time. Yeah, I think he looked like uh, the kind of old tattered teddy bear or whatever that he looks yeah. like in the books. So anyway, that's the thing that's happening. So yes. get excited for Winnie the Pooh Blood and Honey. Yes. <laughs> All right. So what uh, movie news do you have? For this I actually don't have very much. So we, which I liked a little bit of that Star Wars one. Mm. The next thing I have here is uh, Sora. I guess Sora has now become the new Mickey Mouse here because he's like everywhere. I guess he even has a cameo in, in Chippendale somehow. I don't think it's like, I don't think it's him, but like the Keyblade. Yeah, I think a keyblade in his hair or something shows up at some point. Yeah, it just shows up somewhere. And it's like, okay. Sora's just everywhere now. He's He lost his clown shoes, so he's not a clown anymore. And now he's just everywhere. He can walk. But apparently Taco Bell has him in there now. He's like eating a Mexican pizza or something. <laughs> cool. But he's supposed to be like, he's supposed to be in a Taco Bell. At least they actually they mention him. Like the guy who's doing the the jingle or whatever mention his mentions his name he says we eating all we eating we're eating all our orders key to my heart like sora that's what he says okay <laughs> i'm surprised like could even do that i mean it wouldn't you have to like if you bring it if you say someone's name as an obvious reference to something i'm surprised they don't be like you can't do that <laughs> Like Disney or something, because I don't. I think Sora's still owned by Disney, doesn't he? Like his I likeness, think. or is it Square Enix? It's probably both, or no. both. But Just put ugly in front of them. <laughs> yeah, ugly Sora. <laughs> or ugly Sora. What ugly Sora even look like? It's I like, don't know. Like has a lot of pimple on his face, or something. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> balding. He doesn't have his hair. He's weak balding. Yeah, that'll be him. And like 700 pounds or something. There you go. But but we'll see. Like, but Sora is in a Taco Bell commercial. At least he's mentioned in a Taco Bell commercial. Cool. <laughs> For Mexican pizzas. Which I think they're, they're bringing back. Which I know a lot of people are like. I know the local Taco Bell around here. There was like a line. From the drive through All the way to the exit. To like. Like there's like a gas station close to by. It was like all the way to the gas station. Great. Of people trying, and I'm assuming it's probably because the Mexican pizza. Because that was when the Mexican pizza came out. Unless mm. Taco Bell just got really, really popular for no reason at all. Like <laughs> one day. It's like what it's that one day? Mexican pizza came out. But that's a discussion for another time. <laughs> yes. And the next thing I have here is uh, PlayStation uh, Sony. I guess Sony had like an investor presentation. So their CEO, Tony Vincicara, came out and said that they are taking some more PlayStation titles and making films and TV with it. So they, they are currently developing 10 more titles. So we already know some of these. So we have, uh, like, these are all pre existing IPs too. So they have a Netflix and Sony project called the, with the Horizon Zero Dawn license. Which that one could be interesting because isn't Horizon Zero Dawn about like dinosaurs and like robots and stuff? Yeah, I'm at least not watching sure the exactly. yeah, at least watching some of the trailers. I never played Horizon Zero Dawn, so I'm not 100 sure. But it looks like there's like robots and dinosaurs and stuff, which is like it's like almost like prim primitive type of thing, but it's like not. I'm not sure how that works. Right. Uh, the next thing we have here is God of War, which that could see that already being a TV show. And that's supposed to be an Amazon Prime video thing. Plus, Gran Turismo apparently is in the development. <laughs> How does that work? <laughs> like, let me watch a movie about people racing cars. Yeah, I don't know. It's like, it's let good. me just. I don't, I don't even know. I don't even know how that would even be interesting. Or maybe it's them making the game because it takes it takes forty thousand years <laughs> to make a game to that's make the true. game. Could be. 
uh, the next thing we have here, I guess uh, we already know this. Chad Stahelski is making Ghost of Shima. Mm-hmm. He's he's the writer for that, and apparently, Twisted Metal series is currently in development as well. Yes, that's the Anthony Mackie show. I think. Yeah, which that was another one. Like I don't know how that's gonna work because that's them fighting with other. It's like basically Mario Kart, but like a more mature version of it. Yeah, and much. someone's like in an ice cream truck throwing like ice cream bombs at people. And the next thing we have is, I guess, uh, like they didn't specifically say the Uncharted is going to be uh, getting a sequel, but I guess he was saying that they're looking, they're likely looking into making a sequel to Uncharted. Which Uncharted the first one wasn't too bad. I didn't think it was that bad. No, it was fine. I know some people like really hated it. Because yeah. it didn't follow like the games exactly, but you don't have to follow the game for that like that. Right. It's also supposed to be like before the games. So. Yeah. Sully didn't have his mustache. Uh oh. That's like oh, no. or did he have his mustache? No, he, he did. didn't have his mustache. At the end he did. Yeah, at the very end, his origin story of his mustache. Yeah, the whole movie is an origin story of Sully's mustache. Yes. And then we know that The Last of Us is coming out as well. So those are the yep. ones we kind of know what's going to have that's coming out. So there's a couple other ones that haven't shown up because it's only like seven of them. Mm-hmm. So there's three more that that they're saying that they're working on. And I'm thinking, I was like, what could possibly be the next PlayStation IPs? I can say maybe like Ratchet and Clank can be it, maybe, because that was that's a pretty popular game. Right. I think there was some talk about a Ratchet and Clank movie or TV show or something. Uh, a talk about yeah, I think we, yeah, I think we did we talk about that one time or something like that. I think there's a rumor or something. Yeah, maybe they'll make a Astro's Playroom. <laughs> Astro's Play- it could be like a tech demo for new movie theater, theater seats or something. Cool. I want to direct um, directly to the with the TV screen. Yeah. I want a Crash Bandicoot movie, but I want a guy in a costume like the old commercials where he's like standing in Nintendo of America's parking (laughs) lot with like a megaphone screaming at them. Hey, plumber boy, mustache man, your worst nightmare has arrived. (laughs) Until he gets escorted from the premise by the police. (laughs) That's what I want. Fighting uh, Nintendo private investigators. Yeah. <laughs> yes, that would be that would be the movie. Yeah, that would be like the most ultimate. That's like a more down to earth Crash Bandicoot now. There we go. So that was it, Mister N. I guess was isn't the, isn't the bad guy named N or whatever? I don't. Maybe know. that isn't. Maybe that is Nintendo. It could be. Yes. So, but other than that, that's actually my my last article okay so that's going to do it for the movie news for this week so if you liked what you heard hit that like button consider subscribing for more content like this in the future and you too could feel the strength welling within see ya see ya